Hey, welcome back to my channel. Peggy here. Um, I want to thank y'all for coming, and uh, we've got a lot to talk about today. Um, I hope you download the Dollar General app at the Play Store. It's the big yellow app that says DG. You download that app, go to the store, open that app, and go right to list, and you can start scanning. Just scan those barcodes. That's how we find those pennies, so that's important. So I want to show y'all what I got in the mail. How many knows what that is? That is the Dollar General Beauty Bag. I signed up for this, I believe, back in February and really forgot about it. And I saw somebody on one of the Facebook um, penny groups uh, made a comment about they got their beauty bag in the mail. And somebody says, man, that's been a long time. And it's like, yeah, it has been, but mine came in yesterday. Robert came in there and he goes, um, Peggy, he said, you got something from the Dollar General in the mail. And as soon as I saw it, I knew what it was. I was like, oh, mine did come in. You know, I signed up for this. The Dollar General had a deal with a beauty bag. I'm not even sure what's in here. I think it's coupons in here is what I think. It's some kind of a bag. But um, I said, yeah, I signed up for it back in January. I mean, February. And when I hit the enter and... and I wasn't for sure if mine took or not because my computer was messing up. So I had a 50-50 chance that I wouldn't even get it. But I did. So I want to open it with y'all here. So let's look at it together. I don't know how often they have these beauty bags. I don't know if it's just a one-time deal or if they have them every now and then. But it's been March, April, May, June, July five months going since I signed up for this so it's taken quite a while to get here so that's what's coming out of the bag and we'll just set this to the side but it is a bag feels like it's like some kind of a plastic coated fabric has a little book right here but there it is Dollar General beauty bag now, should I take that to the store with me and just tell them to put all my penny items in my beauty bag, please? <laughs> just put all my pennies right there in that bag, please. But, it does say the Dollar Generous on it. So I did get a beauty bag. Now let's see what the book has. It says save over $15 on Dove, Tresemme, Swab, stuff like that. So it does. It has coupons in there. We got the coupons. Oh yeah. You got the Dove, the Shea Moisture, um, $4 off. Two dollars off on two dove. A um, dollar fifty off of that love and beauty stuff. Um, have y'all used any of this? I've scanned this, and I haven't bought any. But I was wondering if it's good. Have y'all tried that? Cause if it's good, I'm gonna try it too. But yeah, they got the coupons in here, and they're not even gonna expire. They're not allowed to double them, but they don't expire till. 12 of 20, so I've got till Christmas to use these. Excuse me. Oh, man. Get a sneezing attack right on. Well, I tried to save y'all from that, but uh, sometimes I have sneezing attacks for no reason. It's my allergies. But anyway. <laughs> Um, there went another one. Okay, so we got the beauty bag open. That was cool. I didn't know if I was going to get it, but I did. Okay, so now, Monday, I went to Oh, man. 
I feel like I should start all over. But anyway, I went to that remodel store um, Monday. I swear. I just had the receipt. But anyway, I went to that remodel store and they had these hanging in the regular aisle where they keep the hair bows and I'm gonna have to go maybe <laughs> but they had these hanging in with the um, hair bands and stuff well when I saw it I was like I know that's a gray dot and I was like wonder what you wonder what year it is and so I turned it over and look, it says right there, F19, and it's a gray dot, and I was like, I bet you those are pennies, and I was at a remodel store, so this would have been a penny whether it was remodeling or not, because it's from last year, so, um, yeah, these hung on that shelf, I mean, hung on that peg hook by the bobby pins and the hair clips and the hair bows and stuff, and so I took one down and scanned it, and it scanned up a uh, little penny so I took all those three but this was at the remodel store but I'm sure these were not penny because of the remodel so I found a old penny at a remodel store that would have been a penny anyway but anyway I found two of these and these are Sesame Street little fuzzy bath um, bath color so it changes the color of the water but I found two of those, and um, this store seems to be finding stuff in the back, and they just keep bringing stuff out and moving stuff around. Uh, whenever I left their store on Sunday with that whole basket of stuff I showed y'all, um, the clearance aisle was clean. There was nothing left in that clearance aisle, so if you go to a remodel, I assume everything in that clearance aisle is a penny and um, it was empty I mean I didn't go to the clearance aisle first but all of the um, as seen on TV all of it disappeared so obviously it penny too but I didn't get any of that but anyway these little Sesame Street um, fizzies and then, you know, I already had a lot of these, but this one got left behind, and I don't know how I missed it, but uh, I found it on a shelf, and those penny. So, uh, it's just stuff that, uh, and somebody found this somewhere, and they just stuck it on the shelf. It wasn't there Sunday, but it was there Monday, and it has, see that color of a green? That is Easter color. I don't know why they use that as a, a color, but it's a different than the dark green. But that's from Easter, and it was a penny. And then I found another hair bow. You know, a lot of hair bows penny. When they get ready to do a remodel, they, they don't want to pack up a lot of this stuff. And I got some cookies yesterday for uh, $2.50. They were 50% off because, you know, cookies are expensive. So I bought them, and I got two packs for the price of one. And uh, these Tylenols, they pennied. And, um, you know, of course, they're getting ready for a remodel. So these pennies I'm showing you are just because they remodel. And these are some of the things you need to look for. If your store is remodeling and you go in there, what do I scan? These are the things that you want to scan. Basically everything. But, um, yeah. Hair bows. Um, house house things. Um, these were already going to be a penny because of the gray dot. And they were fallen winter of 19. So, these were already going to be a penny. So, um, just scan as much as you can. Now, here's some more stuff. Now, my daughter-in-law spent two hours minimum scanning their books. I mean, she 
she might have even been scanning the books almost three hours because we were there from eight to almost eleven and uh, we were scanning everything but uh, these were today and why I'm mentioning her is because I thought she got all the penny books but remember I said the clearance aisle was empty Sunday when we left well it was empty um, Sunday when we left and then this was Monday and here's my my receipt And then um, I got those Monday, and then I went over this morning doing my penny shopping. Um, this says that I was there Tuesday this morning. Uh, this is my number fourth store, but it is when I, I'm saying it's fourth store, fourth stop. I, I went to like seven stores this morning. I want to show y'all how successful you can be penny shopping at each store if. You, you check the clearance aisle and then you check the product aisle, whatever is pinning. But anyway, this, like I said, she spent two hours getting all the penny books and the ones that were still there weren't a penny. But this morning when I went there, is she here? Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so like I said, she got them all. But I went back there this morning on my fourth store. And looking for the candy, I didn't find any at that store. I don't know why. Maybe they already pulled it. Because the store is bare. I mean, there's really not that much store stuff still in that store. But I did manage to find something that was a close. The best I could tell, the only thing that they got closed still in that store is two little t-shirts. One's a blue dot and one's not. And they, they both ring up full price when you know full well they should be a penny but they're not there's one of those exceptions to that rule but um, this was hanging with the uh, college stuff your, your, your local college stuff like t-shirts and hats and stuff um, I heard on one of the Facebook groups they said to check the college shirts because those uh, gray stars uh, penny with the uh, what was it they pinned with the scrubs so check those so I was checking them because that was a remodel store is fixing to so about all they had left was those college shirts so I was like I scanned a few and it's like they're not a penny maybe they will be tomorrow I don't know but they weren't today but um, I got this little shirt right here it's a darling little shirt but look you can tell it's an old penny because it's a blue dot see the blue dot and the year is fall and winter of 19. So I scanned it and it was a penny. So I got this little shirt um, at the remodel store and that was about the last one they had. So I have been to that remodel store on Sunday. I went over there on Monday and I showed you I got those little Easter eggs and those little headbands and stuff. Then I went Tuesday. So that's three days in a row that Miss Peggy's been walking out of there with penny things. Not as many on Monday because I didn't have as much time to spend scanning things. If I could, I'd be over there right now scanning stuff. But I just want to go through some of these books. I mean, when your store remodels, they don't want to pack up the books. So, um, my daughter-in-law got 200 books Sunday whenever it's getting ready to remodel and th this was a penny so these are little craft things for the kids to do scan the toys those little item toys not the big item toys because like the blue, blue star I mean the yellow star toys and uh, the ones that are on the top shelf for Christmas that are the big toys those don't penny so I don't know why but those just don't penny but anyway here's a Star Wars book uh, all these scanned a penny this morning and they were in the clearance aisle it's like I don't know where they come up with them they could have been in a box in the back or something and then I got a whole bunch of these little coloring books these are all little kid coloring books and a um, couple, couple of them are activities this is some kind of a word book 
a word search book. I love those word search, don't you? Those are fun. If you're, you know, in the hospital or you have to go to the, go get your driver's license renewed, you're going to be there a while. Take something like this with you. I mean, these are good for just when you got to go get your car worked on and you got to wait there for an hour. You know, take take something like that. And this is another just little Crayola book. And this is another little Crayola book. Um, and these are, are folders. Kid folders that, you know, when you go to school, you put, you got the little pockets here. Um, you put your name on name tags and stuff. You got one for each class or something, but um, these penny. Now this is a remodel. It's not a regular store, so um, I'm just saying scan your folders too. The school supply stuff, um, all of that stuff. I got tons of these little folders that kids have to use in school. Now these particular ones even have perforated holes right there so that you can actually put it in a binder. So um, this slowed me down from going and finding my uh, candy that I was out and about trying to find this morning because I was at my store at 8 o'clock. And this is the, the fourth store, but I wanted to show it to you because it was part of this other stuff that I got because they're the same store. I went to that store Monday and I went to it again today when I was penny shopping. So um, this total haul was um, 30 items for 30 cents. So everything on here was a penny. And I'll hold it up here so you can just see as I scan it along. Now this receipt, like I said, this is a remodel store. It closes on Sunday, and uh, the sales started Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, this third day. I'm going again tomorrow, so you better bet you uh, Miss Peggy's going to be there when they open that door. <laughs> so, now I'm going to get with the candy, because the candy is what we went for this morning, right? And when I went there, I checked the candy aisle where they keep the candies, and you got to look behind you and in front because they've got front and back candy. Some of the small candies were in the lower shelves behind you and the peg bags were over here on the other side. So when I went in there I checked the regular aisle with all the candy then I headed for the clearance rack because the clearance rack sometimes they put the candy there. So this is what I got at the first store a big bag isn't it so let's jump in here and see what it is I got two of these the big league this is supposed to be gum bubble gum now my daughter-in-law loves bubble gum and this does not expire and that's what we like to know is when Dollar General pennies things is it expired are they just giving us crap that they don't want but it's expired no, this is not expired. It doesn't expire until 11 of 20. So this is good until Thanksgiving. So um, these I could actually save and use them for Halloween, which I think that's what I'm going to do. Because that will save me from having to buy candy for the kiddos, right? Then, now here's my receipt. So let me put my receipt over here so I won't lose it because I lose it all the time, and I hate that. But, I got these. Now these, I only got like one or two at each store, not even at each store, but these were where they keep the theater candies. Now these were on the penny list, these were not. Now, these I'm not sure if they're a surprise penny or if they're an old penny. I think they're a surprise penny. So if your store has these little lifesaver gummies and you can tell because the box 
is not square at one end only at one end but it's slanted at one end and they're just lifesaver gummies now here's the barcode for those just in case you see any but they're a penny now I only got one at this store with the bubble gum one of those but I got a whole case of these of the gob stoppers <laughs> now these gob stoppers are nothing more than jaw breakers I read the box so they're jaw breakers and I've got two four six eight ten twelve the whole case I got at this store and they were just sitting right by the the whoppers and all the other candies that they have in these theater boxes and they were on the bottom shelf so when I sat down on the bottom shelf to make sure I got them all that's when I saw these in the back they were behind stuff that's why I don't know if they're supposed to be back there or not so I don't know if these are old pennies but got me a whole case of the gob stoppers and that was all the candy that I had found at that store and that's my what I call my number one store because it's the first one closest to my house these these are pizza cutters now these pizza cutters I'm gonna be honest with you you know and I told you before I watch other YouTube people just like y'all do and I uh, try to get all the visuals and all the mentals that I can because the more visuals you can put in your brain when you go and you're scanning stuff when you see just like if it's just a box like this when you see it at the store you're gonna recognize it it's gonna catch your eye because you've been flagged in your mind that these will pop out so I saw this on YouTube and I saw it on the Suburban Beard now the Suburban Beard is a really cool guy he's a family guy he's got a couple of children little boys they're the sweetest things and I think he's a really good father and his wife is amazing and uh, they live up Illinois up it by the Great Lakes area up there somewhere and um, he was doing his Dollar General thing and he saw some of these well I didn't write it down I just remembered in my mind that I saw the suburban beard get some of these at the Dollar General so when I went in my store and I went to the candy and got what I could went to the clearance aisle and I'm scanning but my eyes looking for things that stick out that might be a penny I saw these my mind went straight to Stu and the Suburban guy. I said, they got some pizza cutters. Hmm. I said to myself, pulled one down, turned that barcode around. Miss Peggy scanned it, and it was just like the Suburban Beards pizza cutters. So, Miss Peggy got one two three four five it was, this one's missing a tie down but I can put a tie down on it so I got five of these beauties and these are heavy duty pizza cutters now I'm gonna keep one of these and I'm gonna resell one because I do the same thing that the suburban guy does he penny shops to resell that's what Miss Peggy does you know I resell this stuff it helps me make money and I don't have to just live on the um, social security that they give us to live on I can boost my economy my income level 
by having a couple of yard sales and selling my penny items. So that's what I do. So I want to thank Stu and Mr. Suburban. I, I, I shout out from Texas because you're the one that helped me get those. And um, I think y'all are cool. And y'all are doing a good job. And y'all are just boys. And y'all are silly. And that's okay because boys will be boys. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to give y'all a shout out. I don't know if y'all ever see this or not. But hey, I like y'all. So, I got all those at the first store. Now, I was pumped by then because I was like, okay, I, I, I'm doing good. Uh, I got the jaw breakers and I, I got the pizza cutters and I got some bubble gum. Um, my day's already already made. I was like, I'm happy. So then I went on to the next store. And the next store is the one that I call my number two store. Now, my number two store has a manager that she is just the sweetest she could be. Now, I think her name's Marcy. I'm not for sure. Don't quote me on that. I'm going to ask next time I, um, I see the guy and ask him what the manager's name is. But anyway, the guy is the one I'm going to talk about. He is the sweetest thing. Every time I go in there and he sees me coming, he'll say, Good morning, Miss Penny. He calls me Miss Penny. And I was like, uh, good morning. How are you doing? And um, I get my basket and I go on my way. And this morning, it was a little bit different because there was nobody in the store except me. Nobody in the parking lot. And so as soon as I come in and started heading for the candy, this sweet guy, and he's always sweet, followed me over there and he's never done that before and um so um he was like oh man i was just hoping to get some of this chocolate for my kids and i go and i already had this uh chocolate in my basket i was putting it in my basket when i found this and there was six of them and um i'll tell you how you can tell if you look at the new ones the new ones have the s'mores on it, but they're on this side and it's smaller. The, the, the penny ones has the big s'more on uh, the right hand side. So you can just go with a glance. Plus, the new ones have this on the side. The, uh, I mean, these have this on the side. The new ones don't. The new ones are just blank brown on both sides. So if you see them and you don't see that yellow tag on the side, you know, they're not the right ones, but they got the big some more. The new ones got a little some more on this side, and the packaging is different. So, when he said that he was wanting to get a couple of those chocolates for his kids, um, I was like, well, absolutely. I said, here, how many you want? So, I gave him three, and he is like, uh, oh, that's so sweet of you to do that. I said, hey. Your kids will love these, and I want to share. I said, that's what I'm doing. I love to share my pennies with people. And I said, is that enough? You want some more? And he goes, oh, no. He said, that is plenty. And I said, okay. Then, uh, yeah, take those to your kids. And I am happy. That makes me happy. I'm almost as good as it makes me happy to find the penny is to make little kids happy and to share your pennies with other people. That's what I like to do. And I have shared mine with people in the parking lot. You know, I know y'all can see right there, but you see these beans right here? Miss Peggy has been eating those beans since last July for a year. They are bag beans, dried beans, and dry beans don't have expiration dates, and we are keeping them dry. But I have given those out to people in parking lots and um, ask them if they got a way to cook and they go yeah so would you like to have some beans you can tell people are poor when you drive up to a store and they're in a raggedy car you know you know they're pro probably pretty poor and I, I'm not bashful and I ask them I said would you like some beans and they go yeah and I give them two or three bags of beans I've done that several times when I've had uh, my Easter candy, 
I kept that Easter candy in my car because the Easter candy I had abundance of was like taffy stuff that doesn't really melt in the heat and um, candy corns that look like Easter. I kept those in my car and whenever I drove up to a red light, now you remember I live in the big city. I'm just 10 minutes from downtown and um, we have homeless people here. And if I pull up to a stop sign and they're on that corner with their little sign and they're on my side, I roll that window down and I hand them out some candy. I hand them out a can of beans or something. Whatever I have, I share those with the homeless people because Robert and I aren't going to eat all that candy. And it makes me feel good. You know, they got to keep their sugar up too. They're, they're just as uh, susceptible to their sugar dropping as we are and being a diabetic and stuff. So, I mean, I, I, I do help people with mine and I love to make people smile. And, and sometimes you get the shock factor because they look at you like you know wow I'm not used to people being that nice but anyway I got the Hershey's chocolate you know when I gave him those chocolates you know I, I hear that the employees aren't supposed to be buying the penny items so I should have paid for them and then give him the receipt for them then I could have signed the receipt Peggy's Corner YouTuber but I didn't think about it. He said he, he'd be fine, no problem. So, um, yeah, so I got the, the I, I said I only got one, but I really got two because I already opened one. This one right here I opened, and because Robert and I had to go to work, and um, so I opened them, so I've been eating them. But um, I wanted to get back up to these right here. Whenever I went and I got these, the lady at the manager, that she was the manager that rang me up. I got home with all my candy in the bag and it was heavy, but I did not get home with my pizza cutters. And um, after I got home from penny shopping, I was penny shopping 8, 9, 10, 11. I got home at 11. We had to go to work at 12, so I wasn't home very long before we had to leave to go to work. So I just brought all my penny stuff in and piled it on the table and went to work. And then when I got home from work, I was telling Robert I wanted to show him these pizza cutters that um, I found for a penny and how heavy they are. I mean, solid. I mean, these things are heavy duty. And um, they look like they cut really nice, too. And so... I was digging through my bag, six or seven bags, and I couldn't find them, and he started helping me. He was digging through my bags, too, and uh, he couldn't find them. He goes, I don't know, but I don't, there, there's no pizza cutters in these bags unless you got them somewhere else. And I go, no, I, I got them. And I dug through the bags, and I couldn't find them. So I knew I had the receipt, so I reached into the candy bag, and I grabbed my receipt, and sure enough, um, the um, the pizza cutters, and I don't know what I did with that receipt. The pizza cutter um, was right on top. So I grabbed that receipt and my purse, and I said, I'm going back down there because I didn't get my pizza cutters. And he's like, you're not going to get them pizza cutters. Man, you just paid a penny for them. I go, well, I don't know. I got my receipt, and I'm going to ask her. And I'm, like, driving down there, and I'm like, well, what if she don't? don't remember me doing that. I said, no, nah, she knows because she sees me every Tuesday. She sees me. She knows I'm in there. So, you know, I told myself all that while I was driving down there, but when I got in there, uh, I got in line and waited my turn, and um, the lady wasn't the manager. She was another lady. So I gave her my receipt, and I told her that I was in there earlier, and um, I got some pizza cutters, but I didn't get home with them, and I was wondering if they saved them for me. And she was, looked at my <laughs> 20 penny list, <laughs> 20 items that I got for a penny, and she's looking at the pizza cutters on the top, and she didn't even say anything. She just looked at me, and then she picked up her phone, and she started dialing. So I knew she was calling the manager's office in the back. And... So when she answered, she's like, um, 
You know that um, lady that comes in here first thing in the mornings? Um, and she's like, you know, the one that comes in very early in the mornings? And she, she goes, well, she said that she got some pizza cutters that she didn't get home with them. Do you know anything about that? And I was like, oh, man, she giving me a hard time. She was trying to say the penny lady, but she couldn't on the phone. And so I was like, I know what she's doing, but that's okay. And um, so she started looking around. And when she started looking around, I was like, oh, she's looking for him. So maybe she did save him for me. And so she's looking around, and she finally finds a bag, and she picks them up, and she sees there's pizza cutters in them, and she goes, here they are. I said, oh, you tell her thank you so much. I'm so thankful she saved those for me. And that lady looked at me like I lost my mind or something. And so she gave me my receipt back. She gave me the bag of the pizza cutters, and I was on my way. I was a happy camper. Not only did I get my penny items, I got them back when I left them at the store. And this was like 8.30 in the morning when I checked out with these pizza cutters and left them there. So when I got home at 11, I had to go to work. I didn't get home from work till almost 3 o'clock. And so that's when I went back down there. So it had been 8 hours since I left them there. You know, almost enough for shift change. And yeah so i owe this manager so y'all tell me in the comments right below what i should do for that manager that's special should i get her a starbucks card or should i just get her a gift card on her own rack and uh, pay for it and then give it to her and let her um go get what she wants y'all give me some suggestions because i'm doing something special for that lady because she's been putting up with me <laughs> penny shopping in her store for a year and two months so 14 months miss peggy's been doing her job for her, taking them pennies out for her so she's welcome <laughs> but i just wanted to tell you that that you can leave them pennies there and they might still be there when you get back and those most certainly were so um yeah so um uh, with the chocolates at that store uh, where I shared my chocolates with the little kitties um, I only got two of these and I got three of these so these are six bars 18 bars of chocolate well let's look what we like to do let's look at the expiration date okay the expiration date is 8 of 20 so it's eight right now so we got to throw these in the freezer to stop the expiration date from going any further and start eating them today so it's not my fault i have to eat them so um hey somebody's got to do it it's a tough job to eat that chocolate before it expires but anyway these little gummies are expired i don't know where the date is i keep losing it but I know I have seen the date on here and it is expired but I was eating them like I said they're good so uh, Google that because it's not a eat by date y'all don't throw stuff away now I'll tell you the expiration date on milk that's pretty accurate but I have drank milk that's a week over that expiration date if it stays good in your refrigerator you can extend that life if your refrigerator don't work too good it can expire early so um, you just get to always check okay now this store I wanted to go to seven or eight nine stores before 11 I knew I had to get back at 11 because I had to go to work but this is um, one, two, three. this has to be store number four it says store number three. Oh, it is yeah it is um, yeah, this is my store number three, yeah. And, um, the only thing I got there was the Lifesaver Mints. Now, you can smell this mint right through the bags, and it does smell good. 
it does smell good and uh, I got three of those so um, y'all hold on for just a second I'll be right back okay sorry about that interruptions interruptions anyway I got three of these bags um, <coughs> gonna see now this one says that it expired at December the 6th 2019 so these been expired for a year but it's candy and sugar don't really expire so I say try them now I got another bag here that seems to be dated different and this one says the same thing, December the 6th of 2019. It's right there. So these the two bags is expired for a year. And they penny today. Now that's why it's important for us to look at these penny items. And we got to decide is it worth penny shopping or is it not worth penny shopping. So here's a third bag. And it says the same thing. Um... December of 2019. So, three bags here. And, uh, no, two bags. This bag says May of 20. So, this bag is the only one that's almost in date. But, it's still expired. Because this is August of 20. So, this one is less expired than those two. But, anyway, uh, like I said, candy... Is just sugar and sugar don't expire especially hard candy you know it's not like um, what I do with them the chocolate bars these right here now when these say expired they will taste bad chocolate tastes bad now these says 8 of 20 so like I said I got to get these in the freezer because uh, chocolate you can't go by it when it expires expect it to start tasting bad uh, as long as it don't taste bad it's still good but chocolate will turn white and kind of powdery and then it tastes bad and to me bad chocolate tastes like soap to me but anyway um, these three lifesaver things uh, in the green bags are expired at least the ones I, I got are now this is my penny receipt form where you can see that I got them for a penny. So, you decide if you eat them or you don't eat them. I'm going to eat them. Now, I don't really like mint, but Robert does, so Robert will probably eat them. Okay, then this next store, this is uh, store number six. So, I've already been shopping since 8 o'clock, and right now it is 10.32. I've got to be home at 11, so I'm feeling kind of rushed when I get to this store that, I, okay, I've got 30 more minutes. I could probably hit at least one more store if I hurry. So, I went in there, and this store, I got a lot of candy and this candy was on the regular aisle it was not in the clearance section on the regular aisle now these are the chocolate puff mint see they're just mint chocolate things um, there's the barcode for those those were on the penny list for today now let's look at its expiration date um, this says best buy three of 21 actually it says March the 21st of 21 so these are still good till next year March of next year so these I can put these in um, Halloween so I've got the two Dales of chewing gum I've got um, And, you know, I don't have that many kids that come to my Halloween, but that's five bags right there. I can just give them the whole bags, and every one of these are good until 2021. 
they all have the same date on them so these are good the mints are bad but this is chocolate so you want this to be in date so it's good that this is in date and it's not out of date because i would probably not eat it if it was a year out of date being chocolate i mean y'all know what chocolate's like if it's old i'm sure and look i found some of these the alpha bites don't you love those so i was hoping to find some of these now let's look at these now these are good until april of 2021 so these are good so these alphabets bites um they feel like hard candy little square hard candies in there they're kind of thin but i'm anxious to try these but um i got a few of those at this store four of them and they are all good until april of 21 yeah so um there's the the good date right there so i've got um four and four is eight nine ten eleven twelve bags that i can use for halloween so with these goober things now these goober stoppers that i got um they are expired last year and i got a whole bunch of these you know i got the whole case i showed y'all and they're all expired but these are jawbreakers so i would eat them but i wouldn't want to give these out for halloween because i would feel bad um if uh my halloween friends go man these are expired last year she gave me expired candy not feel bad about that but so no i'm not going to give that out at, at halloween only the stuff that's not expired and at this store i found another one of these now these are usually on the bottom shelf of the candy that's in the boxes so i had to sit on the ground and dig around and behind and found that only one sitting there so these are our candies that they're phasing out but they are a penny and uh, you know like i said surprise pennies this week are old pennies don't know but i'm up to four boxes now because i got one or two at uh different stores so this is at least three different stores right here because uh i just found a few one or two at each store so also at this store this is my number six store i found and i'm so pumped about this i found the chili remember these the southgate chili uh, i have not found any of these no matter what store i went to no matter how hard i looked for them i could not find any of these now i got some of these because these pennied last year and i got a couple cans of them i still have one and they were still they're still in date till sometime in 2021 these are still good till 2022 so can you see that two on there it's kind of on these there you go uh 2022 so these are a good find because these are staples for your pantry so you can stock up for the bad times so i say these are good to have so i got two of those on the clearance aisle two more of them on the clearance aisle where can i put those there we go where you can see them i couldn't believe it um and there is another one i found five cans of this chili southgate chili sitting on the clearance hall now there's the barcode for it so this store i go to all the time 
like I said, this is my number six store, and it's not that far from me. So when I'm penny shopping on Tuesday, I usually hit this store at least every other week. These were not on that clearance shelf ever. I would have seen them. So these canned chilies, I say, must have been in the back or I'd say not on the chili aisle because I look on the chili aisle and they don't carry Southgate chili anymore. They carry a wolf brand and something else. So I've been wanting these. And somebody pulled these cans from the back room or from somewhere else in the store and put them on the clearance aisle. Like I said, they weren't there last week when I was there. So I was so happy. I got five cans of chili, and I'm make me some chili mac. I love chili mac. Y'all like chili mac? And then Robert loves chili chili cheese dogs, and we'll make some of those too. So those four cans going in my stockpile. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I was going to show you the first four or five on this list is the um, the chili. You don't love penny chili. And you can see what time of day I was there. And that is uh, 15 items for 15 cents. I love it whenever I just get penny items and you get 15 items for 15 pennies so that is a good find now this is the last store i went to and actually i've got these two stores are let me do them first this store uh, this is my number five store i only found one thing in it and that's these so they just go in with everything else. And then that same store, I only found that one item. They didn't even give me a sack. They just handed me my receipt and handed me my product. And I walked out of there holding this in my hand. Now, when I got to the door, they had a box and a table with some clearance stuff in it. So I stopped to browse through and I saw this. I was like, I think that might be a penny. So I stopped and scanned it and it did, it scanned up a penny. So this has been on the penny list for a while and I never did find any. But I remember the shape of this. So you need to remember the old pennies cause this caught my eye. And I scanned it, and it was a penny. So, I turned around and went back and got in line. So, I had this in my hand, and I had this in my hand. And so, well, I checked out again. I told her I found something else. And so, she gave me another receipt with no bag. So, I walked out the store with two little stacks and two receipts. Two pennies and two receipts. So... That was okay. Now, this was on the clearance hall last week when I was there, and I'd scanned it, and I told Robert, I said, this scanned up for $2. I was like, is that a good price for these? I eat a lot of these for lunch. I, I make these up for lunch, and I'll open up some spaghetti sauce. I'll put spaghetti sauce on these. I'll scramble up a couple of eggs. I'll throw some eggs in there. You can make these with other things in them, but anyway get off the subject um this two four six twelve of these for two dollars and robert goes yeah that is a really good price so um i told him next time i go which was ne next week which was today and i picked up a 12 pack of these ramen noodles on the clearance aisle for two dollars so if you see these on your clearance rack uh, and you eat a lot of these, which we do. We eat these for lunch and um, get you a big box of those for $2. So um, there's my receipt for it right there. So that's my haul. And we wanted to look and see the expiration dates on these things to make sure that 
uh, Dollar General is just not pawning off bad food for us. So, uh, yes, these are expired a year, but I'm going to eat them. So, um, let's open them and see what they look like. Uh, do they look like they're all crystallized and, and bad? No. These things are jawbreakers, and look, they're still shiny as ever. So, I'm going to take a yellow one. Tastes fine. So, I say, even though those are expired a year, I say there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. So, y'all say hi to Lefty, and say hi to Cowtown Teddy. And Peggy's been on here almost an hour, so let me get off of this before it hits an hour. I got five minutes, so adios from North Texas, and goodbye from Cowtown. And look, got my YouTube bow right there. Thank you, Amanda, and I want to give a shout out to Parker. Parker is one of my viewers. Her and her mom watches my videos, so... Bye-bye, Parker. Hope you're having a great day. And I hope your mama's being nice to you. <laughs> Goodbye from Cowtown. And I will see y'all. Today's Tuesday. Probably tomorrow. Because tomorrow, I'm going back to this remodel store. Because Sunday is when the penny started. I went Monday. I went today and got all those books. I got all these books. My, my daughter-in-law already got 200 at that store. And I just got a good whopping 10 today. So, I'll probably show y'all another video that I'm going to go tomorrow back to that remodel store. Because that's going to be Wednesday. They're going to be closing Sunday. They won't be back open till next Thursday. So, stay tuned for that. And I will see y'all tomorrow.